Good evening. It's a tragic end to the weekend in the Rockies. Two people have died in an avalanche on Mount Andromeda, a spot popular with hikers and climbers located near the Columbia ice field. Nicole Stilger joins us live now with more. Uh, Nicole, you're in Jasper. What have you learned so far about what happened? Yeah, Kim, just standing in front of the Parks Canada offices here in Jasper. And Parks Canada says the slab avalanche happened just before 8 o'clock this morning on Mount Andromeda, as mentioned. Now, park officials were notified by visitors to the Columbia Ice Fields who saw the slide happen. Now, visitor safety teams, one from Banff and two from Jasper, including sniffer dogs, responded to the scene. They were sent to the area. They were able to locate the two victims. But RCMP are not releasing any information about those victims. Now, Mount Andromeda is located within the ice field. It's on the boundary of the Banff and Jasper National Parks, and it's a popular spot with hikers and mountain climbers. Now, parks officials estimate the avalanche came down from about 3,000 meters right into the valley. It's considered a Category 3 avalanche. That's out of a scale of 5, so it was quite big. It is snow covered, like it's part of the actual Columbia Icefield Glacier complex. So it's kind of on the Jasper side of the ice field, if you will, as you look out from the ice field center. So it's, uh, it, it does have a section that's a glacier all year long. So it's pretty popular among those extreme outdoor enthusiasts that love to climb mountains. So parks officials say it's not unusual for avalanches to happen this time of year because the area is still in the middle of a freeze thaw cycle, which creates a lot of instability on the mountain. So officials also reminding anyone that's heading out into the backcountry, be prepared and make sure you're packing the right gear. Kim? Okay, thanks, Nicole. That's our Nicole Stilger reporting live from Jasper tonight. And uh, I know you'll have more for us at 11 o'clock.